hello friends welcome again now I'm going to show you how to add the JSP page and a corresponding servlet uh, to your project so my main focus is to complete the at least a full fledged login example so that uh, you will get a very basic idea of the web application so for creating a JSP page which is in which you can write a sm small or a quite effective amount of java code within html and a servlet is a program in which you can add a few kinds of html tags into the java code so both are vice versa so for creating inside your uh, project name hit right click the web pages go to new and add JSP so give the file name of your choice and don't pick anything else just hit finish so you can see a small piece of code is already written for you at the rate page content is a type of declaration where you declare all the java java contents then down there is uh, all the basic html stuff after that for creating a servlet you have to move down to the source packages directory right click it go to new and add a new servlet so click please follow this step very carefully so let the class name be servlet only so you can see in this prop the new servlet.java file will be located in this path go to next now please 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 hit this checkbox that is add information to the deployment descriptor web.xml this is very important you, you can give any servlet name and any url pattern of your choice suppose i give here the url pattern as log log then this means that after the folder name that we have seen in the previous um, that we have seen any url name after slash this kind of pattern will pop up that is whenever slash log will come it will go to a servlet whose name is new servlet and class name you cannot change the class name because it's because the new servlet.java file will turn into a new servlet.class file at your machine which will correspond through url pattern that is backslash log so whenever the url encounters backslash log it will execute the program new servlet.java that's that's very important and very important concept now you can hit finish and your servlet file is created so you can see uh, new servlet.java is created and it also has a lots and lots of stuff already written but it's a bit confusing if you are new to servlet so i will be showing a very proper command so 